What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler, and it's Friday, so you know we're getting paid. Before I get into the content, though, just real quick, a few announcements. Through the month of September, I will be giving away a Moonlander 2 USB ASIC miner. If you want to play along and enter, simply comment on any of my videos in September. You can comment on as many as you want, and any comment will enter you to win. Please join my Telegram group if you want to chat with me, get early picks on some of my coins, troubleshoot any of your mining, and just talk about passive income and technology. Also, please follow me on Twitter, at BitRush9000, link also in the description. Alright guys, let's get into it. <clears throat> okay guys, so real quick, I just want to explain um, a little bit what happened last week for you guys that were following along with me last week. Um, Kudo Miner, as you can see, had a little bit of a mistake with the commission. They were overpaying commission. And so what they did is they actually took that money back out and I had already withdrawn my money. I had already withdrawn my money so I ended up being negative for Bitcoin. Um, I contacted Kudo Miner and I actually had another account. So if you guys have been, been around for a really long time, been following me since the beginning, I had another Kudo Miner account I got locked out of because of two-factor authentication. And I had about $70 in that account. And so what I asked them to do is to transfer that money over to this account. And they did, but that money was in Ethereum. So I got paid out last week, as you remember, in Ethereum. Okay, so the total amount for Ethereum last week was 106 before fees and 105 after fees. So this little yellow bar here represents Ethereum. And since I'm negative now in Bitcoin, I didn't want to mine for a week or half a week just to get even. Um, so what I did is I just decided I'm now mining on Ethereum only and I'm going to switch it on the DEX if I want to switch to Bitcoin. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of an issue there. Uh, we got it all worked out. Kudo Miner was really great working with me to get everything fixed up and um, get back in action. So here we go. Um, this month or this week, we did do really well. We are at 131.56 before fees. And if I come home here, back to my main screen, you can see I actually didn't start mining, right? The first day, I think I just turned on one machine at the very end of the day, uh, maybe part-time here. And then the price is a little bit lower too. Um, and then right in here is where I actually built my new rig. So I have that video coming soon, guys. I believe, yeah, probably the 31st was the day I turned it on because you notice a large increase. And then the price went up a little bit here. And that's why we're cranking now up around $30 a day, $28 a day. Um, but I did buy a new, mi or not buy, built a new mining rig um, this past week. So let's just go over that real quick. Um, I have my part-time gamer, which is this computer that I use right here. Anytime I'm not gaming or doing video editing or anything on here, um, I turn this on, and this is currently a 27, 2070, an RTX 2070. Um, I have my pickaxe, which is my original mining rig, which is what I've been running this entire time, which is eight GTX 1070s, okay? And then the new one I just built is pickaxe 2, and pickaxe 2 is AMD Radeon RTX 4. 5700 XT's Red Devils and currently I have three of them I was supposed to have four of them but one of them ended up being just a regular 5700 not the XT and for whatever reason um, it didn't want to work with the other cards I don't know if it was just a problem with that card or anything but I sent that one back and I'm um, gonna get another one here soon so I should have four and then what I plan on doing is buying um, one more maybe every month or every couple weeks until I have six. So eventually this will get up to um, six 5700 XTs, but for right now we're just running three. We're running eight 1070s and one 2070 part-time. So that, that's what I'm, I'm mining with, guys. And let me just show you. Well, let's just go into it. I'll, I'll click into this one. We're mainly mining Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Um, Ethereum Classic has had a lot of um, hacks and things lately, so, um, you know, just be hesitant if you want to mine that because the coin, you could potentially lose coins or mine and then your mining not actually um, be worth anything or whatever. Um, so I know a little bit of people are, are iffy on that and I think actually they're going to be moving to uh, SHA-3. 
So you'll most likely be able to actually dual mine um, Ethereum Classic, be able to mine Ethereum and Ethereum Classic here soon. Also, just real quick for anyone who doesn't know about Kudo Miner, it's a really nice software. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. If you use my link, you will get a free 5,000 um, worth of Satoshi um, Bitcoin. So, you know, who doesn't want some free Bitcoin? And basically what it does is it has an algorithm and it automatically picks the best coin and it chooses between whatever coin is best at that time. I'll just show you guys in here real quick. So you can turn on any of these coins. Currently I have them all disabled except for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, but it'll pick between any of the coins that you have enabled and automatically um, choose the one that's going to be the most profitable at any given time so you don't have to constantly be following all the hash rates of all the coins and stuff like that it just makes it really great it's also easy software you just download it install it click enable and it starts mining okay um so that's it for you know the prices and the new additions and all that let's do our transfer and i'll go ahead and show you guys over here in just a second so first i'm gonna actually transfer to my metamask wallet and withdraw funds my ethereum the only let you choose one speed so medium and paste that in and just real quick guys i just want to um, document this before i send it so it's going to be 0 0.3337896822402098722 so a lot longer numbers here with the Ethereum than with the Bitcoin. And the USD value on that is, where is it? 131.56. So really great guys, I, th I believe that is my best week. Let me just double check here. I'm gonna send that and then we'll look. All right, so that's being said, so let's take a look now. Yeah, 31, 131. So um, when I started out here, I was doing about 22 a week. This was with like six 1070s. Um, slowly started to get better. And then we saw the, the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin started to crank up right around um, June, July. Beginning the end of July, we really got into these good prices. And... Um, yeah, all of August it was good. We were, you know, seventy-five, eighty, hundred dollar weeks, and now we're actually up over a hundred. Uh, I do credit that to adding the extra uh, mining rigs, the extra cards. We added basically a twenty seventy and three fifty-seven hundred XTs. So definitely makes a good difference, guys. Um, in addition, the price is still up here on Bitcoin. Just to be fair, um, let's just go to CoinGecko. So Ethereum is currently just under 400, 393. And Bitcoin is the correction um, at 10.5. And what is today's date? Today is nine something, let me see, nine four. All right, so we're just waiting for that transfer and it did go through. And it looks like our total amount is going to be 131.44. Okay, so now we also need to update this chart. All right, guys, so my chart looks a little bit weird. I may have to mess with this a little bit more to get this so it, uh, the Ethereum and the Bitcoin line up right and all that because it's just, the USD is now so small compared to these, it doesn't really show up on the chart, but I'll figure it out. I'll get this working here off camera for you guys, but that's it for today. Anyway, guys, uh, it's been a great week this week. Um, we do we did do our best week at 131. Ethereum prices are pumping. I'm getting some more um, equipment here, so I expect the mine to keep growing. I do have my electricity rates locked in through the end of, uh, let's see, about six months. Yeah, about January. So. Um, after that, I'll probably be um, looking to do something different, maybe do a co-location or possibly um, find another facility that can get better uh, commercial electric rate. But I'm going to keep building up here the next six months until that happens. Um, so expect to see these numbers continue to grow and hopefully the Ethereum prices stay up. 
um, so we can keep making money. Thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, please subscribe to the channel, um, hit the bell for notifications, like this video if you like the content, and share with a friend or family that you may think like it as well. Happy mining. Let's get that coin.